Hello guys, this is Anish Ridge with another tutorial and this is on a facial rig, actually um, the entire rig and it will be split up into different parts because it's a long tutorial so I'll show you the eyes move, um, you can scale the eyes, you can move the mouth, by the way this is my new animation I'm working on you can move the mouth, even the chin moves while the mouth's moving you can close and open the, uh, uh, the eyes you can rotate it so he's angry and you can rotate this one so he's oops so he's sad and you can even make him look weird so uh my mouse is wet okay um now let's get to the tutorial so um now let's get our character so i will put the download for the finished rig also and i have a tutorial on how to install this download i put so you go to presets uh Minecraft that's it that's the download I give you characters and character and you should find Steve in there and now we want to name his body so this is the left arm R oops right arm by the way if you can't see what I'm doing make it full screen and you should be able to see everything uh, left leg and by the way there's this uh, the guy who taught me how to do these pose moths and everything, his name is uh, Captain something. I don't know what his name, but I'll put his channel in the description. It's amazing Minecraft animation tutorials, and yeah, so I suggest checking out his channels. His channel. So now let's just move the. I'm just arranging this so that I don't get messed up. Okay, um, now let's make the rig for the body we should first do the body rig and then the uh, facial rig so let's go to the f front view press function f4 if you have a mac and if you have another computer any other computer you just press um, f4 and you should go here and now let's make the rig so press press character this is r13 uh, highly suggest getting it so character join to and then you should get this tool and hold down control click where you want your joint and still hold control down and then just make your joints three joints for the back and one neck joint because because of yeah because you need a neck joint and ah uh, yeah that's about right doesn't have to be perfect well if, if it means a lot to you yeah so now click on that neck joint, click on the bottom piece of it and then you should be able to click the neck joint then you want to off root now which is this and then we want to hold control and we should be able to disconnect it like that whatever so click on that and make the arm and now let's click on this bone make the leg That's about right. Okay, and now we want to find which bones are which. So we want to select the arm bones and the leg bones, just these four, and then sorry, these five, six, these six bones and joints, and then we click on character mirror tool, and you click on mirror, and it should just make a mirror like that. And now we have that done and we should have a root over here and we want to name this root control because that's the control. This is how I do it. And then we want to move that into your character. And then we want to name this one the body. So uh, you click on you uh, click on all of them, right click and group objects and name it body. And okay, so now let's just bind it to the character. So press F1 or function F1. So let's find where the bones are. So let's just click on that. This is the left leg. So find the left leg. And let's bind it. Actually, let's first subdivide it. You need to subdivide or the skin will not go with, along with the bone. So select your entire body. Go to character, oh, no, mesh, commands subdivide this box over here and press 3 uh, click 3 and press enter and then you should have it all subdivided so now let's find where the joints are so these are the three 
leg joints for the left leg character let's just click on this small box here and you should get this and where's the bind tool and then you just click hold down here and you click bind or you can just go character commands bind over here but this is just a faster way of doing it <laughs> so let's find the left leg the right leg bind bind it and now the right arm bind left arm bind and the body make sure you have the uh, origin selected sorry guys about sorry about that uh, just click on the uh, now let's bind the body so select the body uh, this we want the origin also which is a joint that moves the entire body but it's not gonna do anything so select the origin find the body we want three joints plus the not the head joint actually we want the okay just select the body which is four joints click on bind again and now let's get the head which is just one joint and click on bind so we have everything bound um, let's just check if everything's working so go to object mode rotate yeah that's working let's find the body which is this yeah that's working yeah everything's working so um now let's start making the facial rig because now we have the body done and we don't need this anymore so let's close that out and we do need this so let's get the head select the head we have it already subdivided which is good and now click on the face select tool and click on your live select tool and make the radius go to one just put the radius at one now select uh, the eyes sorry guys I'm back again go to face select select the eyes uh, this is how now the animating minecraft sort of things have eyes like this and the weird sort of extrusion at the back or whatever so right click on the eyes and click on extrude and then you wanna just click on the eye and extrude it back until you are satisfied and then you just press delete Oh my god that's scary but uh, yeah and just press delete and you should get that um, now let's make the eyes actually let's just make the eyes um, hold here and click on plane get a plane click on objects put this and now we have to do some math um, okay so each pixel in minecraft is 6.25 centimeters in cinema 4d so the eyes is 2 by 2 pixels so that should be 6.25 times two pixels and that should give us the coordinates and everything and so we do that and put this at zero and put this at just put them both at one so that's our eye over here oh go to coordinates and put the rotation on the p-axis to 90 oh depending on which way your character is facing uh, you want to oh <laughs> sorry two point uh, six point two five times two equals twelve point five we wanted two pixels, so 12.5. Okay, so that's the correct size. Now make it editable. And let's move it into position. Uh, just move it into position like this. And now, I should have done this before, but click on your move tool. Go to snap settings. And click enable move and 6.25 centimeters and so so it should move every time 6.25 centimeters so well, let's see if, the, if there's a gap so there's a small gap so let's disable that move it into the correct place and that's about right okay that's right um so now let's enable that let's enable it later so edit it click on the face select the face right click extrude inner this time and extrude it the size doesn't matter because we can scale it later now we have that make sure you're in, you're in object mode right now and click on your plane click on character 
add point morph which is right at the bottom and you need to have cinema 4d studio to have this thing and so now we want to add a morph so we go to face select select the middle face let's get the live select select that that's the eye and select your morph and type up and make sure you have your your pose selected this is the base pose which is this and this is our up pose so select it and move it up which is our up pose this is this is done through trial and error and yeah so we do that now make another pose so just click add, add pose and if you can't see what I'm doing make it full screen so um, now add type inside make sure you have it selected and just move this one to the side and okay that's all we have to do actually one more pause you type scale in this one and then we just select the scale and we scale it as big as I can get and okay and now we select that and now we click animate this is important click animate otherwise your thing won't move so now we have the eye. Now we just need to add an expresso to the character. So select the character or the object you want to have the expresso on. Then you right click on it. Make sure you actually just select the character you want to rig. Cin uh, right click, Cinema 4D tags, and expresso is at the bottom. Um, so now we want to add the user data. Uh, just exit that. So select your character, make sure you have your character selected, go to user data, add user data, and we want to name this the eye, because that's the eye, and we want to name this, uh, we need to put this on vector, which is at the bottom, and 2D vector field. And then we want to set this to negative 1, and this to, uh, to 1. So then press enter, and you should have that user data now. And now you want to drag your character, just drag the null into the expresso. And this is what, uh, so whenever you click, click this character, the, the user data will be in this character. Can't explain that, but okay. So we added the user data of the I, so the user data should be here. Go at the bottom, user data. We want the X, the Y, uh, axis of the I, and we also want I. Uh, yeah so we do that we get those three then we just add the morph actually we need to we need to uh, just do that and now we need to just uh, copy and paste this so go to object mode click on your move tool enable the 6.25 centimeter move Con uh, command C command V to copy and paste control V and control C if you have other computers just move it into position and we should have this two done now so let's get the texture because we don't want let's just select both the morphs and just put them at zero for now because okay so we now we can add the texture uh let's just get a simple texture yeah white for the oh i should have done this before white for this and blue for the let's get blue 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 Okay, that's good. And just put that there. Let's just delete that. And copy and paste this one again. Object, copy and paste. Okay, so now we have that done. Now let's add the morphs into Expresso. So just click and drag the morphs into Expresso, both of them. And no, double click on Expresso to just get this, use, uh, this data thing so now click on the blue make sure you just click on the red and you add the user data and to add the other data you just click on the blue go to tag properties and go to up strength that's what we named it we named it up so we want to get the up strength the side strength and the scale strength that's what we named all three and we want to do this on both of them okay last one up strength and we should just open this up a bit. Okay, now move the up strength to the y-axis, both of them to the y-axis, side strength to the x-axis, 